Hey guys, what's going on? So, I'm um, sorry for the delayed video. I've been kind of busy. Um, I do want to say again, thank you for watching. If you are, thank you for liking. Uh, please like, please subscribe. I enjoy doing this. I'm basically doing it for myself, but also for you guys. So, let's get started. So, last week was a big week for television news. I mean, I haven't seen this in a while. Beyond was picked up for a second season, and that's after two episodes, so that's powerful for Freeform. The Fosters was picked up for a fifth season, which that's an amazing show, so I wasn't surprised there. Um, they also revealed some things about Pretty Little Liars. Of course, I was involved in that. I love that. Um, Empire on Fox was picked up for a fourth season, and that is such an early renewal for Fox, so I don't know what's going on there. They have something up their sleeve. Of course, the episode of Star was good. Um, American Horror Story was renewed until 2019. Congratulations, Ryan Murphy and your crew. Um, that's season 7, 8, and 9 already, which FX is already planning to do that in a way. Um, they also announced the premiere of Feud, Ryan Murphy's new show. They did back up American Crime uh, Story season 2, which is about Katrina. That was kind of disappointing, but he has so many projects in the works anyways. American Crime uh, Season 3 on ABC, they unveiled the trailer for that, and that blew me away. The Shots Fired trailer on Fox blew me away. Um, the Prison Break trailer. Charmed was picked up um, for a reboot from the CW, possibly Dynasty, which I'm really hoping Dynasty, because i got to get back in the soap opera genre. I'm looking forward to Riverdale, of course, next week. So it was just a busy week last week for television. And then, of course, the Golden Girls um, is coming to Hulu for a reboot. So the networks are really uh, changing things up. Um, however, my most anticipated show, I said in my recent video, was going to be The Yum Pope on HBO with Jude Law and Diane Keaton. I watched it last night. I watched it a second time with a buddy of mine who is um, not... Um, Christian, and he really enjoyed it, and I'm a Catholic, and I have to say, I love it. Jude Law and Diane Keaton are phenomenal. They're going to have phenomenal roles. This show is like House of Cards, but in the Vatican, it's dark, it's corrupt, it's about money, it's about power, it's about everybody stabbing each other in the back and having ulterior motives and agendas, and it's all about being the Pope in America, the young Pope in America. Jude Law, he, he's so um, vindictive and, and, and snarky. And of course, the joke about the, you know, Coke Cherry Zero or Cherry Coke Zero, you know, you'll get a laugh out of that one. Just his attitude in general. If you haven't watched, please take a look. It's a great show. The reviews haven't been the best. They've been kind of state of flux situation, but I highly recommend it. I can't wait for the next episode. So again, please uh, like, subscribe. Thank you again, and I'll be back with a review of the People's Choice Awards this Wednesday, 9 o'clock on CBS. So I'll have a video for you. Have a great day, guys.